So with some hazards of an oxygen deficient atmosphere, it's unsafe to sustain human life. So as we breathe, we're inhaling air with oxygen. So we have oxygen going into the cells. And then as we respirate, we're gonna have carbon dioxide leaving the cells. If we have an insufficient oxygen content, we can't sustain human life. So this causes many deaths in confined spaces, so we need to thoroughly test oxygen levels before we enter a confined space, and then periodically to make sure we maintain safe oxygen levels inside that confined space. It may be created, we can have an oxygen deficient atmosphere in a metal tank where the oxidation, the rust, inside the tank reduces oxygen to unsafe levels. Some gases such as nitrogen and argon may reduce oxygen to unsafe levels by actually pushing out the air that contains oxygen that we need to, that we need to breathe. So 20.8 or 20.9, that's considered normal oxygen. At 19% oxygen, we're gonna have some unnoticeable adverse physiological effects. We're not getting enough oxygen to the cells at that point. At 16% oxygen, we're gonna see an increased pulse and breathing rate, impaired thinking and attention, reduced coordination. It's gonna be hard to concentrate. 14% abnormal fatigue upon exertion, emotional upset, faulty coordination, poor judgment. At 12.5% oxygen, very poor judgment and coordination, impaired respiration that may cause permanent heart damage, nausea, as well as vomiting. When you're below 10% oxygen, inability to move, loss of consciousness, convulsions, death. Below 10% oxygen, it may actually only take a couple breaths for us to be unconscious. Thank you.